Many people have asked me to draw wolves. They're either Twilight fans or they're werewolves themselves. Either way, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I've done a couple of sketches of what I think are the important parts of what I want to draw, so I might as well dive in and see what happens. If you've been following my biro drawing journey, you'll know that I want an empty biro because of a drawing idea I want to show you in another video very soon. I've done two large biro drawings so far, and I'm starting with an almost empty pen. I should completely empty it with this drawing. I normally sketch lightly in pencil, then draw in ink and erase the pencil work afterwards to leave the finished drawing nice and clean. But biro ink is very sticky and it would smear if I erased over it. So I have to lay out the drawing lightly with biro. There's no going back. You have to live with or adapt to your mistakes. I think the nose is the obvious place to start. The fur basically radiates out from this point. As werewolves are so popular these days, I wanted to add a slight werewolfiness to the drawing. I've adapted the mouth a little to slightly flatten the face to make it more kind of human. I couldn't find any decent reference for the paws, so I've imagined what they would look like based on pictures of skeletons and an intimate knowledge of how animal paws work. I go to sleep holding paws with my cat who likes to sleep on my chest. It's sad, but it's true. Now I always like to get the eyes drawn early as this creates a connection with the drawing. Once the eyes are there I feel the drawing speaks back to me and we are then in a conversation about how to proceed. Really this drawing is all about following the direction of fur and slowly building up the tone and texture. It's not meant to be an accurate natural history drawing, but more an illustration for a twilight story or something like that. The paws are totally wrong, but I've mostly been trying to get a feeling of movement and attack, and I've been trying to empty a biro. Well, at least I succeeded on that score. I wonder what I'm going to do with it. If you want to know what I'm going to do with an empty biro, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and why not have a look at my other biro drawings. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.